this is always a question where is the cuff on this right this is really a challenge it's meant to be picked up like that so so I'll try it and see what happens so if I pull in here what did I end up getting not the cuff so see how that isn't that awful that was like and this is a brand new kit so it wasn't even cuffed most times the kids are like this. If that's the case, what would I do now? You mm -hmm. have to get new gloves, right? It's just sometimes, yeah. So this actually was, you know, man, I mean, I'm sure robots put this together or whatever machines, but my cup, my glove was here. Okay. Most time it will be cuff, but the cuff will be really narrow. So just be looking for that. So most time it'll look like that. You can kind of see that ridge but having that extra pair is key. So if I'm gonna do this, I will do my best. So we'll say that it was folded correctly. It's like I can legally touch that, but I wanna be very careful. It's precarious, it really is. The tiniest little cuff here, sticking together. So best advice, have a second pair of gloves. That's about all you can say to that, okay? And then this is sticking together, so you do your best to get your hands under here. Legally, now I can touch the inside to open that. And there we go. And you're pulling away, not towards you, pulling away to allow your hand to move. And then it doesn't feel great, but I'm not going to touch that. Okay, now if I happen to touch the inside, it's okay because I'm sterile. So what I have to do is empty all the contents on the sterile field. So simple drape. What I don't want to do is have my hands closest to this. I want to have my hands above. And one side is waterproof. Typically one is not. So down. Just let it rest. You can have it wherever. I put it this way just in case I have room. Now they don't want us to flip anymore. So you just go through and take your stuff. Stuff sticks to everything in here. You have a 4x4 four four, and then you have that drain sponge which is that split one that he's wearing. So just lay stuff out. You're gonna have more things than you need. This is a key tip, which is super tiny. That lady's inner cannula I was telling you about is like six or eight inches. This, she would need something else. These are old fashioned pipe cleaners, but they're really sharp. So if you're gonna use them, bend them and clean around so you don't injure her skin. This is your main tool for scrubbing and cleaning. These are often used for drying and so is this drying. Some patients will cough with just the tiniest little bit of fluid in there. This is that old-fashioned shoelace that we used to tie, but don't ever use that. Yep, this one. But again, if it's something you don't use, just drop it and look for anything. Okay, and now this is my kit, but I cannot put this here, can I? Right, because the bottom's not, so that's why I put it there. So inside. Now I'd have to designate non-sterile and sterile. And you have to decide what you're better at. So for me, I am better at opening this and pinching that. I'm stronger with my right hand holding, and this hand can scrub. Um, I could try it this way, but it's difficult. Now I touched it, so I've committed myself, but it's difficult. So for me, but you have to decide. The the book says, or, or some people will just douse it in there and let it sit in there. Um, I like to just hold it, clean it, get it back in because I'm worried about her. So I've, desi I've already touched her, so now this is my non-sterile hand. So we want to come around your sterile field. There's two containers here, um, big, small, doesn't matter. I usually go left to right, so whatever's facing you. So um, saline is your um, rinse, peroxide is your cleaner. And you can look at the orders. Sometimes they'll say half, half. So then you'd have to mix that as best as you can. You could put the lids back on, but you don't have to. Okay, non-sterile and then sterile. So sterile is going to hold the inner cannula and hold all this stuff. Okay. Of course, if you weren't watching me, I would be facing Jane and looking right at her. But I'm going to do this pinch. So what I would do is go across, but then I'd have to move my field, wouldn't I? Because I don't want to be crossing my sterile field. Okay, Jane, so now I'm going to take this inner cannula out. I try to do it like 30 seconds, minute tops, because I want to get it back in. It'll just
just be a few minutes, okay? Just breathe normally. If you're worried, I have a bamboo here. Okay, so this hand really can only legally touch this. It comes out like a little rainbow action. Good job. This is my sterile piece. So now I'm going to sterile, sterile. This is my scrubber. I put my peroxide in the smallest for scrubbing. I just hold it. And then this is a matter of going in and around, scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. So even though this is big, it does fit in here. <coughs> so scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub real peroxide, well, this will be foam and it'll just be, you won't be able to see that because it's all contaminated and it reacts and it'll be all foamy. So then that's a challenge. So you wanna um, make sure this looks clean. So now I'm gonna rinse. So you rinse in here. If I needed to, I could come through here. If I had areas I needed to clean, um, I could do that with a smaller appliance, whatever. This is just for your use. Done. Okay. And now drying, and you, it's okay to set stuff here. Drying, you can dry with this on the outside, but some people cough when they have that on the inside. So that's what all these are for. Drying. You might use that Q-tip. Again, just don't get anything stuck in there. <laughs> all right, so do the best you can. Clean around. And then um, as just a um, letting the patient have some control, I say, do you want to look at that? So kind of offer to it, does that look okay? Okay, great. People feel like, you know, this is a condition where there is no control, so that's sometimes nice to do. Also, it keeps me sterile if I happen to mess up. Okay. All right, so Jane, we're ready. So that didn't really take too long, okay? And now, again, I would be facing her so I could see, but for your benefit, just going in like this. And good. Once it's sort of in, my right hand is better. I'm done being sterile, and so now I'm gonna go in, clamp down. So you can choose. If I went to do my right hand first, it comes out so much easier, but I wouldn't be able to hold that. Then scrub, then rinse. So two different ways. You could actually let it sit in there clean it, but you'd have to keep that sterile hand, um, or I just hold it with my non-sterile hand here, clamp, done. Good, Jane? Okay. Last thing we're going to do is change that dressing, so just kind of slide it out at the corner, and now it's we're done being sterile for all intents and purposes. I'm going to take this one thing, if I needed to put saline on it, I could, but otherwise bending and then just cleaning, cleaning. I want to inspect that stoma and make sure it's clean. Around there I could use that Q-tip, any of the products I have. Dry it off. Okay, Jane, now we're ready for the drain. We're almost done. I find the best way to do it is like a sliding action. Some people go um, from the bottom up. Either way is fine. So you just want to make sure the balloon's on top, kind of ease it over. I might need to walk around and do that. I just don't want to cover her trach. Okay, looks like I have to walk around. You can use any of these as well to help just make sure you don't poke. If I have to loosen this, I'm going to hold the trach. So I'm holding it, loosening it in case she coughs. The rule is only one side can be undone at a time. Okay, then up. Holding. Jane, you doing okay? Secure makes her feel secure and she, it doesn't tickle as well. And then one finger breath. Good job. Well done, Jane. We're all done. The only thing I have left is just changing those trach ties. So um, I could take my gloves off, put your gloves on, and then trach ties. A little trick about trach ties, you could have your patient's pillow be up a little bit so it creates a little space back here, especially if they have long hair or um, um, you don't want to um, hurt their skin, or if they're really skinny, this Velcro sometimes scratches them. So we have the foam tray tie. It has options of smooth or rough. Just remember, you always want the smooth to go to your patient and the rough sticks. So I'm going to move your pillow up. You will have two people doing this for your safety. Mm -hmm. So go in on the side that's facing you, and it doesn't matter if it's upside down or not. So I'm holding. And maybe I could have your sister. You want to go over on that side. So if you want to hold that, we'll see if both arms you want. Do you want to hold that side? Perfect. Yep, perfect. And so now I'm going to take off one side. So the, the focus is one side's on, old one stays on before the new one. So
So at one point we're going to have new and old on each side. So I'm going in smooth to my patient. One thing too, if I accidentally get Velcro, I'll totally get snagged up on that. So you can kind of scoot that away. So you got a good hold. Yep, Jane Stephanie's ready to hold you smooth to my patient. These things bend, so you bend just a little bit. And the first person is just going to be, that's the first person doing it on this side, just going to attach it here. And Stephanie's side will do all the adjusting. So now I'm holding, and Stephanie, I'm going to pass the old one to you. And then here comes the new one. So if I'm worried it's going to get caught in her hair, the best thing to do is just don't open the belt for yet. Okay, you got it. Good communication between your partner. Okay, and now you can undo the old one. I'll hold this one so then we talk. So I got it if you got that. And I think it's because Velcro touching that gauze piece. Right, so there you go. Yeah, and then so now you can adjust it. On my side, I have one finger breath. And then so you can adjust it on yours. So you can either do it tight here, one finger breath there, or one finger breath there, tight there. How does it feel on your side, Steph? Finger? Great, so if there's one over here, then not. And then we just kind of straighten that. 